You know, I think winter time, all of us transporters pay our dues because you either have to get a room or come up with ingenious ways like hiding in a hotel room or in a hotel stairwell or a conference room or a networking room or sleep outside or sleep in the lobby of a post office or sleep in the truck stop driver truck driver's lounge or sleep in the rig if you can do it if you can afford to do it but right now there's a cold front today i'm in uh spartanburg south carolina doing a run that i didn't want to do to begin with that was a fedex uh cube van that i'll show in the thumbnail of the video because i forgot to make a video about it but all this week i've been in hotel rooms ranging between 50 and 100 bucks a night well average is about 80 bucks a night give or takes your average hotel room cost of many different kinds but the generic room uh my running marathon of things this week has been those units ac units i don't know if the, they need all they need cleaned out gear or what but it seems like the all the different hotel rooms that i've been at the ac heater unit that supplies heat or cool air to the room has had issues this one is for the best unit of the entire week but they all have had problems not wanting to warm up and you know if i'm gonna pay 50 bucks or 80 bucks a night for hotel room the main two things i'm paying for is a bed and a heater well and then a bathroom and a shower main four things that i'm paying for but the top two would be the bed and mainly the heater that's the whole point of paying 80 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever is so i have one night with some heat so i don't have to freeze my butt off out there Today in Spartanburg, South Carolina, which I didn't want to be at in the first place, but I kind of got screwed into this run, those 600 miles. Today, the high was 52 degrees and the low is 27 degrees because of a weird cold front coming through. And in the wintertime, we are forced, what do you do? You know, you're forced to do what you have to do. It's either a choice of sleeping in the rig and freezing your butt off or pay for these rooms. And thank God I don't have that wife and kids and family and thousands and thousands of bills and stuff I gotta pay. I don't know how they do it. These other transporters must run three or four trips in the time it takes me to run one trip a week. You know, I don't run my butt off hardcore. I just do it enough to live on. But even then, I were left out this time with a 600 mile run. It paid $611 altogether but the unit itself the cube van was pretty good on gas and i think it only took 150 i think in fuel or something to get the three the 600 miles which is pretty good and i was able to spend the, the two or three or four nights in hotel rooms for 50 bucks a shot with what it paid me up front the 300 bucks and then you know the three the 400 dollars because they did an incentive on it coming back out of there because today i had to go to fedex ground terminal here and because of the whole fiasco with the wrong contact phone number which was their fault or somebody's fault down the line not mine i ended up sitting at the, the terminal for damn near eight hours i was there for longer than some of the security employees that work for the security guard shack they shift change came in in when i got there and they shift changed again before i was able to leave waiting all day long just to get a paper signed because of that though i did seem to get i guess the runs that i want for this next week and a half i'm gonna go from spartanburg south carolina well i'm in duncan south carolina tonight i guess it's a neighboring town i'm gonna go from the pilot down here down the hill that has a greyhound in it I'm going to get on the bus and go to Springfield, Ohio, and then I'm going to pick up an incomplete chassis, which is a box truck without the box on it, take it to Houston, or it might be a box truck, I'm not exactly sure, because they have both options, they have either the finished boxes, or they have the box trucks without the box on them at the factory that will be picking up there in Springfield, Ohio, and I haven't been there for in a while, but I'll take that to Houston, Texas, and deliver it, I'll get on a mexican bus of some kind or greyhound or something and go from houston to laredo texas and take another incomplete chassis and i know that's an incomplete chassis because they all come up from mexico that way without the box on them 
And so I'm going to be taking that incomplete chassis from Laredo, Texas, uh, back up to Guthenburg, Nebraska, which is up there by like North Flat in Kearney, Nebraska. It's along I-80. And then I have to make my way back out of there somehow in a week. Not looking forward to that run because it goes back up north into the cold, which that's why I want to go to Houston. So I wouldn't have to be in the cold at least for a few days. This life is something else though, you know, I just wanted to make a quick video tonight and show you where I'm at and say that this has been the fourth hotel room that I've been at, I think fourth, yeah, fourth hotel room that I've been at this week because of this cold front that's come in every night has been in the 20s, everywhere I've been, this whole, it's, this week has been record-breaking cold front across the whole the entire United States and I hope this thing gets over relatively soon because it's costing me a lot of money just to stay warm and end of the day I'd rather stay warm than freeze to death and have money in my pocket when that money could at least get me warm for the night so there's that but this video's getting pretty long I just thought I'd show you my hotel room and talk about what I've been going through lately and transporting life is ups and downs but like the other day I was at a McDonald's and saw what I looked like the movie Grumpy Old Man you know the two movies that they made to get together these two grumpy old guys chit chatting away at McDonald's in the back, you know, having their coffee. It's memories like that on the road, simple memories like that, that I'm glad I got to sit down and talk to those guys. A couple old classic war style veterans. It's things like that that keep me on the road. Experiences, that's what I'm out here for. It's, I'm not out here for the money, I'm out here to live my life enjoy my life and experience it like tonight since it's payday I've got DoorDash coming and steak coming mostly just because it's my birthday here in nine days I'll be turning 40 I think doing some reflecting I guess just like I did when I turned 30 but anyway like and subscribe leave comments uh, check the merchandise below in the description below and I'll catch you on the flip peace